Hey guys, it's Eddie and I'm back here at the underground house and today's video is going to be a short one. It's about running the utility lines. So from the house we have electric and internet which are going to be coming off of that pole over there that I'm sure you can see, that pole. That's where my spectrum internet and my uh, electricity comes from. So we ran a conduit coming out of the house that goes down and bananas around and curves that way. I've also got a secondary trench right here. Now this trench is, uh, I'm, I'm thinking ahead, and if you're gonna be doing something, if you're digging up your yard and putting in trenches and stuff, think about where you're gonna potentially wanna have either a communications line or an electric line and put it in now, because now's the time to do it. So those lines are actually set up for a gate. Um, hopefully the wind's not screwing up the audio in this. If it is, I'm gonna have to re-record the whole thing anyways um anyways those are for a future gate and the reason i'm not putting in the gate now is because i found out from my inspector that la county department of regional planning has apparently implemented some new policy that any and all gates have to be approved by them this is more fees more regulations and more of a time delay so i'm simply not going to do it uh, i've paid over sixty-five thousand dollars in fees to various agencies i'm not giving them any more money um, frankly, I think it's completely ridiculous that you need to pull a permit to put in a gate. Um, I understand they have code regulations regarding fence height and all that. Um, you know, frankly, I think if your gate adheres to those same regulations, you shouldn't have to put, pull a permit for it. But they want money, so they've somehow managed to managed to implement this as a, yet another new over-regulating, uh, you know, demand. So I'm not doing it, but I am planning and where those conduits stick up out of the ground over there, that uh, that's going to be set up so somebody can easily pull a cord through. Um, let me show you also what we did here. So one thing you don't want to do is leave one of these open because that's how you end up getting dirt and water and crud in it. So what we did was I just took an old bottle. Um, the tape comes through. This is a pull tape. The excess is coiled up over there. Put a bottle of bottom of a, a water bottle taped it up so crud can't get in there and this should work well um, and if somebody in the future decides to use it great if they don't well no big deal um, no, you know this was a couple of bucks but uh, since the driveway is going to be covering over some of this I uh, figured now was the time to do it all right well hope you found that interesting and uh, yeah and onward and upward we're getting close to the end